Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles, and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2016 Round 2 Puzzle Set, which is created by Puzzle Creators from Serbia. This particular puzzle is a non-consecutive Sudoku, which is a 20-point puzzle, which was created by Zoran Tanisic. Um, if you want to understand more about how the points work, then you can check out the first video in this series, Classic Sudoku 1, um, but there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, um, as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. Let's go through the rules and then let's try the puzzle. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and then in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then numbers placed in adjacent cells must not be consecutive. Now we've over the last 10 years changed it to orthogonally adjacent cells because people were, and I'm sure I'll get comments on this, people will assume, but those two cells are adjacent. No, it's meaning orthogonally adjacent cells. I'm sure of that. That's just, it's just the way that they were worded. Um, at least I'm assuming that's what it means. I'm because you can see right here, those are diagonally adjacent, but contain consecutive digits. Um, it's orthogonally adjacent. Um, it's just, I'm using the original wording. This is 10 year old stuff. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my um, timer. Let's give this a shot. This box has a lot in it. In fact, more than any other box. So I'm going to start down here. I need to put a three into this box. I can't put it in this row and I can't put it next to a two. This is a three. So let's put this triple in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. Well, I can't put a nine next to... Um, uh, next to an eight. So there must be a nine in one of those two. Now I could have got that a different way by saying that five and six can't be next to each other. So this can't be a five or a six, because if this is a five, this would be a six and they'd be consecutive. If this is a six, this would be five, they'd be consecutive. That's the nine. So that's cool. Um, and we get to this. Okay. So, well, oh, and the five makes this the six and this the five. Okay. I did that a stupid way, but I, it's, it is correct. So these are two, four and eight. And I'm not sure what to do with that, except that can't be a four. So there's a four in one of those two. Which box now is under the most pressure? Um, let's look at this one, because I've got a lot of digits looking at it. So there's a two. So two is down here, but I'm not sure where. Uh, four is in one of those two by Sudoku, but it can't be next to the three. Um, six is uh, not there. Seven, I'm not sure. Oh, eight is in one of those. Yeah, eight. Eight is not there and it's not in the bottom row. So actually, let's mark this quadruple because it's two, six, seven, and nine. And that's not helping me, except I can't put seven or nine next to eight. I can't put six next to five. And I can't put two there. So this is seven or nine. And this has really not helped me as much as I might have thought. Okay, like, oh, where's one? One and one, one and one. This is just a one, which means this can't be a two. That's the eight, and this is a two, four. Okay, that's cool. So what am I missing in this row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. So these are six, seven, and nine, and the six in there must be a six in here. So I can't put a seven in here, because if I put a seven in here, wherever the seven goes, the six would automatically be next to it. So this is six, nine. That's the seven, and I can take seven out of those. This is two, six, nine. But this is now a triple. One, two, three, five, and seven. The three, five is looking down, making that the seven. This is the three, five, but the seven means that can't be the six. So that's the nine, that's the six, meaning that can't be the five. That's the three, that's the five, meaning this can't be the six. Okay, that's a good bit of, good bit of progress. So this column now, two, four, and eight again. So where's the eight in this column? Can't be here, can't be here. That's the eight. This is a two or a four, and I can't put four next to five. That's the two, that's the four, that's the two. I need to put a three in this box. It's not in either of those, and it can't be next to a two. That's the three. Let's put the triple in, four, six, and seven. Again, um, yeah, I can't put six in either of those because of that. So let's just do it that way. And then I can't put seven next to six. So that's the four, that's the seven. Okay, let's do these triples. One, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. Now, I can't put the eight and nine next to each other. Um, so they have to be kept apart. But So if I was to make this an eight or a nine, if I was to make this an eight, one of those two would be a nine and they'd be next to each other and that would be a problem. If I was to make this a nine, one of those two would be an eight and they'd be consecutive. So this must be the five separating the eight and the nine. Um, not sure what to do with that. What about here? So we've got one, two, four, and seven. Well, there's no four there for multiple reasons. 
and I'm not sure what to do there. So where do we look now? Three, three, three is in one of those two. Is it this box? I can see one is in one of those two. Um, I'm actually not sure. Where's the weak spots? Because I've now got to go into an area of the grid with significantly less information. Well, I can see I can't put three in any of those or any of those or there. So this is actually a three. So that's pretty good. That puts, means this isn't a three. This is a three. And now three is in, well, three is right here by Sudoku because I've got four threes looking into the box. And now none of those can be two or four, but none of those can be four and none of those can be four. So four is in one of those two. Okay, but none of those can be two. Mm, not sure about that one. None of those can be five. Eh, that doesn't seem to be it either. What are these four digits? One, two, six, and seven. Okay, that's a little bit interesting. There's no seven there. That can't be two either. There's no six there. Actually, that's... So, yeah, this can't be one, two, or six, seven, but I'm not sure how to restrict that. This can't be two, because it'd be next to a three. This can't be a two. It'd be next to a three. This is actually the two. And seven is in one of those two, which puts seven in one of those two by Sudoku. That's interesting. But that two means two is in one of those two. This row, one, five, seven, and nine. Well, I can't put one in either of those or there. That's a one. So these are five, seven, and nine. Well, that can't be a seven. And that can't be five or seven because it'd be next to six. That's the nine. That's the seven. I could have placed the seven when I realized those two were sevens. That's the five. That's the seven. That's cool. And now I'm down to four digits here, which is where I was getting the most pressure. This isn't the one. Two is still in one of those. I'm not sure which. Five is in one of those two. I'm not sure which. Six now can't go on top of the five. So this becomes a two six pair. And this becomes a five, nine pair, and I can't put nine next to eight. So that's the five, that's the nine. Six can't go next to five, so that's the two, that's the six. This row is missing its eight, so that becomes the eight. These are one, four, and six. The four says that's not the four, so this is the four because this is a one, six pair, and I can't put six next to five. That's one, that's six. Taking six out of there, this becomes a one, seven pair. But these are all pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a six, nine pair. So this is a triple. Oh, I can't put nine next to eight. That's the six, that's the nine. I can't put seven next to six. That's the one, that's the seven. This is a triple, two, five, eight. I can't put two next to one. I can't put five next to four. I can't put eight next to seven. And nothing is obviously resolving that. Oh, I can't put um, eight next to seven. So that's the five, that's the two, that's the eight. The two looks across saying that's not the two. Great. Okay, this row maybe seems to be the most restricted. Two, six, seven. So this can't be a six, so it's two or seven. This becomes the six, meaning that can't be the seven. That's the two, that's the seven. The two takes two out of there. Okay, the two takes two out of there. So what am I missing in this column? For some reason, I'm, all of these columns are only missing three digits, but for some reason, I think column five, nope, column five is not where I want to look. That three means that can't be the four. That's the four. This now has to be two or six, and the two is looking across, making that the six. That the two, that the nine, that the six. I was wrong. <laughs> there was something right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These become eight and nine. And while that looks like a deadly pattern, there will be something capable of resolving it. I just can't see it yet. So these become one and two, and the one looks across making that the two, that the one. The seven looks across making that the four, that the seven, and the seven means that can't be the eight. So that's the nine, that's the eight, meaning that's the eight, that's the nine, and I've made a mistake.
I've got multiple sixes in the grid. Why do I keep doing this? That was a typo, wasn't it? No, it wasn't a typo. I did the standard trick of when I saw this two six and I had two cells that weren't populated, I immediately said that has to be two six, not noticing I already had a six making that two, that nine, that six. And this column is now missing one, two, three, four. This is a five. And now let's do these correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight, nine, which is a deadly pattern, but these are one, two. The one makes this the two, this the one. The seven makes this the four, this the seven. The seven means this is nine, eight, and the nine means this is eight and nine, and that's the correct solution. Making typos like that, particularly when you've got two empty cells and one cell with a, a pair in it, it's very easy to miss the scanning. You should rescan, and I didn't. Again, I get caught up on timers and I shouldn't do it. And I do it all the time, particularly when I come back after a break. Like I so I've been solving these over the last couple of days and I just came back after a break of several hours and I came back and it's like, because I'm talking about time and their competition puzzles, I need to get out of that mindset. I'll be happier when I do. I'm pretty happy. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.